guys, Charles Comble back with another episode of the Political Minute. Last time I talked about how a dictatorship can be brought about in a democratic society by first spying on its people and through that observation, silencing those who oppose the change. It happened in Nazi Germany. Do you perhaps see some parallels happening in our society today? Well, there's another aspect to creating a totalitarian regime and that is to manipulate the news media. And I will show you how that is occurring right now in Egypt as we speak. A few weeks ago, 30 million people took to the streets in Egypt to overthrow the president that they had democratically voted into office, but who had been rapidly dismantling the democracy that had put him there, since Islam and democracy cannot coexist, as stated by his regime, the Muslim Brotherhood. Rather than wait for the next election, which may never have even occurred the way things were going, the people with the help of the military removed this new dictator in the making from office. Now's where the fun news media manipulation starts. So power up the one minute clock and let me show you how easy it is to manipulate the Western news media so that they can help you get back into power and continue creating your totalitarian regime. Step one, use agent provocateurs. Stage a peaceful protest outside a military base. Then at 4 a.m. when it's dark, from the back of the crowd, start shooting at the soldiers, killing a few in the process, hopefully. And when they shoot back to protect themselves, make sure that a few of the women and children get shot, even if you have to shoot them yourself. Take lots and lots of pictures, send them off to the Western media with the word slaughter written all over them. The Western media will, of course, lap this up and use the exact word slaughter that you gave them. Now step two, do another even bigger peaceful protest, but now in the center of the city, disrupting all forms of commerce, effectively putting everyone out of work. Again, fill it with women and children. Wait weeks and weeks if necessary for the military to finally come peacefully and break it up. Start shooting again. Take lots and lots of pictures of dead women and children and repeat the process all over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. That's exactly what's occurring in Egypt and our media, which is no longer full of investigative reporters, but rather brainless reporters that happen to look good on camera, are playing into the hands of the Muslim Brotherhood as they do whatever it takes to get back into power. This could be happening in places like Syria with the Al-Qaeda-backed rebels and the supposed use of chemical weapons. Who knows? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and download our Underground Network app so that you can interact with us directly. And I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>